Good morning, my fellow travelers. I'm glad to be alive today. I hope that you are too. We're going to get right into it. Today we're doing kumbakas, both on the inhale and the exhale, antara and bio kumbaka. So we're going to hold them short so you're not going to get out of breath and you can train yourself because the uh, bandhas are pulled during the kumbakas. So kumbaka comes first and bandha comes second. All right, all the fingertips touching, but not curved, stretched, stretched, not curved. Curved is Hakini Mudra for thinking clarity. Stretched and pressed against each other. Archaka Mudra, which means worshipping. So this is our way of expressing respect to the divine nature. <clears throat> Improve your concentration, calm your nerves. Balance the right and left hemispheres of the brain. So that's where that is. All right, <clears throat> so love to have you here with me again um, in the context of commitment. Every day, hitting the mat, doing your practice, giving yourself over to your higher purpose. That's what's going to lift you up and carry you through. As long as you're <clears throat> purified by your own inspiration, pulled by your own inspiration rather than pushed by your stubbornness. Remember, when you get pranayama going, no one has to impose the discipline on you from outside. It's no longer being, uh, you're being told to do it and you're following someone else's uh, guidelines. You're really owning it yourself. So let's get to it. <clears throat> Take your stance. Inhale and exhale. Find your center, which is undisturbed. And let's move from there. First cycle will be open nostril inhale. Hold the breath. Alternate nostril open exhale. Hold the breath. Let's give it a shot. Restorative pose. Restorative breath. Exhale. Raise your hand. Block your right nostril. Open the left nostril. Breathe in. Now wait there for a five to eight count. Then block the left, open the right, exhale. Drop the hand, wait there, bio kumbaka. Right into it, block the right, inhale, open left. Wait, Antar Kumbak. Block the left, open the right, exhale. Wait there in Bio Kumbak. Block right, open left, inhale. Wait there. Internal retention. Block the left, open the right, exhale. Relax the hand, wait there in Bio Kumbaka. And restore to breathing. So mentioning the Chitta Bhumis, the states of consciousness that you go through, and we said that you're restless either like a monkey mind or dull like a donkey, but then the third state is called <clears throat> Vikshipta, which means alternating. It's a little more sattvic. More of the times you clear, more of the times you focus, and a lot of the other times you space out, but it goes back and forth. That's the third state, alternating one moment on the ground, one moment on the sky, they say, like a butterfly, always on the fly. So it's semi-sattvic. So remember that as you focus. All right, second round. Be inhaling through the partially opened left nostril. Hold the breath. Open, exhale through the right nostril. Hold the breath. Let's give it a shot. Restorative exhale. Raise the hand. Block the right. Narrow the left and inhale. Wait there and Antar Kumbak. Lock the left, open the right, exhale. Drop the hand, wait there and Bio Kumbak. And restore to breathing. Now, even what seems to be the more exhibitionistic asana 
practice. Yoga is not about extreme display. It's about internal cultivation. So focus inside, and let's get to second cycle, second round. Exhale the breath. Block the right, narrow the left, breathe in. Wait there in Antar Kumbhak. Block the left, open the right, exhale. Relax the hand, hold the breath externally. And restore to breathing. Other people will get bored or their own, their own indifference will prevent them from glimpsing new worlds, invisible worlds inside themselves. So become an student, a student of the ordinary and find out what's extraordinary about the ordinary. <coughs> Exhale the breath. Next cycle. Block right, narrow left, inhale. Wait there in Antar Kumbhak. Block the left, open the right, exhale. Relax the hand. Wait there in Baya Kumbhak. And restore to breathing. Keep your facial muscles and your scalp muscles relaxed so any sense impression can be received with clarity by your brain. Third cycle in the second round. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, block right, narrow left, inhale. Wait there in Antarkambak. Block left, open right, exhale. Drop the hand, wait there in Biocombach. And restore to breathing. In between the cycles, make sure your face is nice and relaxed. Readjust your sitting posture. Behind each eye, move the energy to the back and base of your skull where the medulla meets the hollow of your neck. Third cycle, <clears throat> open left nostril, inhale, hold the breath. Partially closed right nostril, exhale, hold the breath. All right, after the next restorative breath, raise your hand. Block the right, open the left, inhale. Wait there in Arbtakobak. Now block the left, narrow the right, exhale. Relax the hand, wait there and buy a kumbaka. And restore to breathing. Now, again, if you've lost the height in the posture, remember, it's not just lifting your chest and spine right, or pulling the back body down. If I said suck the fibers of the buttock muscles toward the buttock bones, already there's that extra lift. Don't forget to do that. It's the same as squeezing your thighs in or sucking the hip sockets in. Right, Lift up. Second cycle. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Block the right. Narrow. Open the left. Inhale. Wait there in Antar Kumbhak. Block the left. Narrow the right. Exhale. Drop the hand. Baya Kumbhaka. And restore to breathing.
according to yoga, if your mind can carefully place itself in the void, in the spaces between the breath, one internal and one external, the Supreme Consciousness reveals itself. Well, don't believe them. Let's find out ourselves. Exhale the breath. Raise the hand. Block the right. Open left inhale. Wait there in Antarkumbak. Block the left, narrow the right, exhale. Drop the hand and wait there in Bayakumbak. And restorative breathing. Now, as you breathe in, take care not to raise the bridge of the nose. There shouldn't be bobbing up and down like a buoy, you know, in the bay. If it does, then brain gets caught up in the movement and can't watch the trunk properly. All right, so keep that nose bridge tucked down. Let's go. Last cycle. Now, partially closed nostril on the inhale. Hold the breath. Partially closed alternate nostril on the exhale. Hold the breath. That's it. All right, exhale. Raise the hand. Block your right. Narrow the left. Breathe in. Hold the breath. Block the left, narrow the right, exhale. Drop the hand, hold the breath. And restore to breathing. Keep anchoring your tailbone down under or inward toward the pubis, uncurling it, uncurling it as you lift your chest and ribs up away from that action. Second cycle, exhale the breath, raise the hand, block right, narrow left, inhale. Wait there and on Tarkumbak. Block left, narrow right, exhale. Relax the end. Wait there in external retention. And restore to breathing. All right, last cycle. But always, do what's best for you. Don't work mechanically. Work at your own level. And of course, don't perpetuate incorrect patterns of movement. You have to find out what works and what doesn't. And that's the way not to allow mistakes to take deep root, but eradicate them by training and experience. Last cycle, let's make it the best. Exhale the breath, raise the hand. Block your right, narrow your left, inhale. Wait there. Block your left, exhale through the narrow right nostril. Relax the hand and wait there. And restorative breathing. Slowly bring the head up and gently open the eyes. All right. So that was a nice combo practice using both of the kumbhakas. Uh, tomorrow we'll come back with Chandra Vedana and we'll add the Mula Bandha followed by Uriyana Bandha and then finally a combination of Mula Bandha and Uriyana Bandha as we work on these more advanced practices. Hope that it serves you well. Have a beautiful day and uh, I'll see you tomorrow on Thanksgiving. Make it a great one.